Tremeria, get a hold of yourself! Our objective is to capture the ship! If you keep attacking it... Something's wrong with her! It's just like they said. No, she's even more defective than they thought! You two! Why did you unleash Tremeria? Damn it! There's no time! We have no time to waste. The enemy ship is moving. Wow, so it can move. Much tougher than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> They will not escape. They will see. They will see why I was chosen. Don't do it! Stop this! Tyrion! Stop! Stop it! I won't let anyone stop me! I have to prove it! I think it's time for a break, honey. Do not interfere! Easy, easy. Don't get all touchy now. <laughs> Hey, you're okay. I really did a number on you, huh? You forget your place. Hey, no one told you to sink the damn thing. Can't you control your own power? You ruin our plans, then whine about how you didn't want to? Honestly, you are useless. Now you've got an attitude too, huh? Learn your place! Would you two shut up for one minute? <gasps> God, what kind of loony bin did I get myself into? Our main guns it was a hell of an impact. Damage report now. That one knocked our main engine offline. The impact broke the ice beneath the ship. We're going to sink. Abandoned ship. I will not let this ship sink. Switch over to backup power now. The crew is panicking. Captain, what are your orders? Luke, what is the enemy doing? They've deployed a tank squad. And the witch is... she's gone! The Valkyria's retreating. Then I have a plan. Brian, relay the switch over to backup. Captain, 
Without power, the ship's going to the bottom of the Crystal Sea. I gave you an order. Cut the backup generator. What? The Centurion is... sinking. Wait, are you serious? This can't be happening. Just one hit and she's going down? Kai, what have you done? Wait, hold on. We can't let this happen. Come on, Claude. We gotta go save them. We can't. I'll end up just like them. Damn it! You want us to watch them die? Claude! This is an order. All units stand by. I'm sorry. She packs a hell of a punch. Turn that steel battleship into scrap metal. The other two scurried off to clean up the survivors. They want to make up for failing their mission. Let them do as they will. Or would you like to go as well? Nah, I'm gonna go think for a bit. About what? The excuse you'll be giving to Belgar? Huh, <laughs> I figured you were all mopey. But you still got some sass in you. No, something's bugging me. I think I might head back for now. Then take Primaria with you. It may be some time before she wakes up. I get to escort the princess herself? I'm honored. Leave it to me. Huh. She looks so peaceful when she's sleeping. You'd never guess she just destroyed a battleship with her bare hands. <laughs> Whoa there! And here's the knight in shining armor. You worried about the princess? Don't worry. It's no pumpkin carriage. But this baby can get her back to the ship safe and sound. <laughs> ah well. Get comfy, boy. Suppose I can take you along for the ride? <laughs> good boy. You're so good. But me? I'm no good at all. The comet was destroyed after Cremaria lost control. The Centurion moved to their aid, but that vessel also caught fire and sank. Investigations are underway, but we're searching in a blizzard. We may not be able to recover the wreckage. I regret to inform you that, at present, both ships are unrecoverable. The mission was a failure. <sighs> I suppose I couldn't have expected the Federation's finest technology to simply fall into my lap. I can't apologize enough, Doctor. Oh, no need for dramatics. One ship still remains. And I presume you're not so incompetent as to make the same mistake twice. No, sir. And Cremaria. Exhausted. Most likely from the sheer expenditure of energy. She's sleeping in her room. It might be some time before she recovers. The strongest and weakest of the Valkyria. They called her defective, you know. Wanted to lock her up. Even though she's inherited such purity. 
purer Valkyra blood than any other candidate. But bureaucrats are always so blind to true potential. I was certainly shocked myself. I wouldn't have believed she harbored such destructive power if I hadn't seen it. Descendants of the Valkyra exhibit a reaction to Ragnite that unleashes a raw, explosive force. That azure glow only appears when the Ragnite's full power is being utilized. Like weaponized moonlight. No man-made weapon could ever compare. They truly are miracles of war. She may exhibit some difficult behavior now, but her performance will improve with appropriate calibration. It is a technician's job to ensure a tool works properly. She's still ultimately a living being. We can't expect to fully control... The more you have to fiddle with a machine, the more attached you tend to get. Though even that has its limits. Nicola and Chiara, those two chose poorly. Perhaps a bit of recalibration will set them straight. I'll be counting on you to handle the rest. Oh, and give my regards to Wallace. Yes, Doctor. Hey there, pretty boy. I appreciate you handling that report. Hmm. A little birdie told me you used to be with the Edinburgh Army. I can sort of hear it in your voice, too. But you're not actually from Edinburgh, are you? I'm gonna say... Gallian? <laughs> yep, figured. You Gallians are pretty ballsy. So I gotta wonder why a guy like you would defect. I heard you even sent a spy over to their side. And a femme fatale at that. Am I right? <sighs> to think, a gloomy guy like you seducing the enemy's women. I didn't know you had it in you. That's not it. Oh, come on. Don't be shy. We're both red-blooded men here. She's my sister. Uh-huh. My sister was aboard the Centurion. What? My god, man! Why didn't you say something sooner? How are you this calm? If your sister was on that ship, she's dead. <sighs> Oh, I get it. I had a feeling. Yes. I believe the Centurion has not sunk. My gut told me that too. They're tougher than they look. So did your spy, your sister, tell you that? No, I haven't contacted her. But I'm still receiving a signal from her transceiver. She wouldn't take it into battle, so it must be in her room. If that's working, it means the ship hasn't flooded. The hull may not even be ruptured. So you still don't know if she's safe? God, man. I'm praying for you. Spy or not, she's an enemy soldier. You may have been shooting at her on that battlefield. I don't see why you would pray. Well, you know. You and me, we're buddies now. I'm not your buddy. Too bad. We're fighting for each other's lives. Like it or not, I'm the only friend you've got. <laughs> but hey, the Centurion hasn't sunk. I know. The plans are already in motion. You have to keep moving or you'll freeze. I don't care what happened to the Centurion. Where is everyone? 
Quiet! I can hear something on the radio. Damn it! This blizzard is making it worse. The ship sank, okay? We all saw the witch destroy it. And you're upset about the radio? The sun's going down. We have to find somewhere to wait out the storm or else... No, we have to go help. They're waiting for us to save them. We can't, or the Empire will find us. Claude, what do we do? Shh. Haven't sunk? What? What does that mean? I get it. This was their plan all along. Uh. They made it look like they sank and hid the ship inside a gap in the ice field. What? Squad E reads you, Centurion. We're moving to rendezvous now. Let's go, everyone. bottom of a deep crevasse in the crystal sea. Words can't describe the shock and joy we felt. The centurion buried in ice, but intact. It turns out, the Winter Witch's attack had not been fatal after all. Merely grazing the deck. To avoid further damage, the captain had ordered the crew to make it look like the ship had been sunk. So they brought the ship down, into the depths of a nearby crevasse. The captain's resourceful thinking saved the Centurion. Unfortunately, the witch's attack has disabled the engine. Until it's back up and running, we're stuck in the chasm. All we can do is sit here and freeze. We made it back to the Centurion safe and sound, but it looks like there's only more despair ahead. Hey, found some. Got some old wooden boxes in the pantry. That's great, Raz. Hurry and bring them over before the fire goes out. Hold on. Let me just break these bad boys down. Wow. Are those icicles on the ceiling? Must be from our breath. Hot air goes up to the ceiling and stays there till it freezes. I guess it's not much better in here than out there. Might be even colder. We're in a big hunk of metal, after all. Whew. Oh, this cold's getting into my bones. At least there's no wind in here. We wouldn't last an hour out in that blizzard. Claude, we're still looking after the wounded, but their body temperatures are dropping fast. I'm doing what I can to help them retain heat, but at this rate... Okay, let them stay closer to the fire. Give them as many blankets as we can spare. Hmm. God. Dying in battle against the Empire's one thing. But I don't want to freeze to death on a friggin' ship. Hey, Claude. You think this is still gonna count as an honorable soldier's death? It won't have to. I'm not gonna let anyone die here. Huh. <laughs> Easy to say. Besides, this is nothing compared to marching in the snow. We're equipped for the cold in here, and we can make fires. So look on the bright side. No more walking. <laughs> yeah, guess you got a point. What do you think, Kai? Starting to wish you'd kick the bucket back at Siegfall, huh? <sighs> hey, hey, Kai! Don't fall asleep here! You'll die! Oh... I'm fine. Just... thinking. I'm gonna head to the bridge for a bit. Keep the fire going for me. We, uh, have some bourbon, but only a little bit. Use it to warm yourselves up if you have to. Bourbon? Why didn't you tell us we got the good shit? Hey, don't drink it all at once, please. 
you got it. <laughs> Look at him acting all tough. You see his hand shaking when he passed me the bottle? I don't know. It's kind of helping us stay sane in here. Yeah, maybe. How's it looking? Any signs of life in there? No. You've already fixed everything we could think of. Figures. Let's not be getting any energy from the main engine. Which we can do. Can't get into the restricted area. Come on. Would it really be that bad? <laughs> You'd get court-martialed for one. And no matter how good of an explanation you had, well... Firing squad, huh? So we're talking serious military secrets. Even if we did crack it open, I don't think we'd know what to do with it. Apparently, it's working on a different design than your usual Ragnite reactor. On top of that, the breakdown fried the backup engine too. Doesn't look good. We could probably bring the backup engine online if we kickstart it with a little power, but... Feeding Ragnite energy to the backup engine? Yeah, Ragnite energy. You're staring. Something I can help you with, or...? Yeah. Yeah, we can make that work! Huh? The tank! We'll use the tank's engine! We should be able to use the tank's Ragnite energy to jumpstart the backup engine! You want to use the tank's engine to move the ship? I don't know if... We just need one little spark to get the engine running. Once we've got that, we can handle the rest ourselves! On my pride as a scientist, I swear we're going to get the Centurion out of this! A report just came in from the engine room. They predict they'll be able to bring the backup engine online within the hour. They're certainly working hard. I suppose we'd better leave that to the specialists. We should think about what to expect next. The comet was targeted deliberately. It was a strategic ambush with the intent of capturing the ship. But that means the route of the Cygnus fleet was... Leaked to the enemy which could mean a number of things. Either there's a spy or our code's been broken. But the greater mysteries can wait. First, we need to decide where to go after we get out of this crevasse. Luf, bring out the map. It's safe to assume the enemy will be surrounding our planned route. We should take a wide detour around our original path and go behind them toward the capital. That'll drastically increase our travel time. If we don't resupply somewhere... We'll resupply at this lightly defended city. But if we want to get there, we'll have to break through the Imperial Sea Fortress. Captain, it's going to be dangerous. I can't imagine a sea route that isn't. Mr. Wallace, any thoughts to share? We might be able to reach the capital that way, it's true. But with the loss of the Comet, and with this ship operating on limited power, even if we minimize casualties at the fort, we'll still be at less than half strength. You're concerned we might fail to take the capital after those losses, then? <sighs> yes. Mr. Wallace, I can't tell you our chances of success. I don't imagine anyone could. All we know is that someone has to do it. Otherwise, the Empire is already won. And if not us, then who? That is the question. And we answer it by our own choices. By our own choices? We know the battlefield well, don't we? Our time there is fleeting, dangerous, 
uncertain. But that is precisely why we must always move forward. Time and time again, we soldier onward through pain, bloodshed, sacrifice. And when we look back, we see all those who stood against us and those who stood at our side. We make our choices and we carry on. Perhaps it's what you'd call courage or simply determination. My courage and my determination. Captain, we're under attack. The enemy? From where? From above. They're coming down into the crevasse. I suppose we couldn't fool them for long. Captain, Squaddy's ready to move out. Go. Hold out until they get the power back online. Yes, sir. Kiara. Capturing that monster is sure to make Lord Belgar happy. He'll be so proud of me. This time we're doing it right. Stay out of my way, Nicola. I could say the same to you. How about a little contest? Let's see who can kill the most. <laughs> They're trapped like rats now. All we have to do is exterminate them! We're moving out! Hurry it up! I can't believe they're coming after us down here. No running this time. Gonna have to fight back. Claude, we're under attack? Riley, what are you doing here? What do you mean? We're moving out. You stay here. Are you serious? I'm part of Squad E2. I know that, but you're also an expert in Ragnite engineering. The best we've got, in fact. Uh? Now that the enemy knows we're stranded down here, they'll do whatever they can to destroy the ship. If we don't get her running and ready for evac before the second or third wave comes, we're done for. So I need you to do what you do best. You mean, it's on me to get the ship powered, huh? Right. My father put his blood, sweat, and tears into researching Ragnite compression. If I can't get her moving again, no one can. Leave it to me. I'll do my part if you promise to do yours. Yeah, I'll hold him back. Better not lose. Same to you. Please. I've never lost in my life. But you knew that. Yeah. Not then, and not now. Well, see you later. You'd better come back alive. <laughs> 